then you write the check. Would you come to one value of this? But it is twice into this into this zero. It will be the minus sign. Four. The minus sign in will be one into. Okay, so this is this value zero. This will be minus two. If I put here minus sign. Okay, the first row on this that will be this value. But first is two into this into minus this. Zero is minus four is there. Then in between minus sign we put what is it? I J is two row first second row. Sorry, second uh, first row second column one plus two three negative. Minus one is brought three that is negative five. This is one here. This is three. Zero and minus one. This minus two here. And plus sign. One and two. If one and two. If we get plus and minus plus plus two. Plus two. Okay. Final is minus eight. Plus two. Plus forty. Sixteen minus eight is plus six. Okay. So this value is Jacobi. So this is one point eight. Okay, so J or J dash we have to find out. J dash is this one point J, which is one point eight. One point eight we have to multiply. That means right here one point eight. So that is given to us therefore. For the ellipsoid, the volume will be then. Okay, so this. Uh, sphere. This is 1.8 here. Like 1.8. Okay. Then dx d by d. This is the spherical sphere. Or the sphere. Volume of the sphere. In this way, we have converted this x by d into capital D by d. And we have converted this d by d into all uh, the coordinates. Let me convert them into full columns. Convert to changing. Not converting, but changing. Let me change this. Not changing. Changing these variables into this spherical full column. Here we put x equal to r cos theta into sin theta. Sorry, r sin theta cos sin phi. This is the answer. R sin theta into cos phi. This is r sin theta into cos phi. Y equal to R sin theta into sin phi. Okay, and Z equal to R. Here it is cos phi. R cos phi. Okay, this is how we convert them. So this is R cos theta. Okay, so the other. Spherical polar coordinates. Then what are the limits of this? We have to find out limits and then the value of this. This will come out as R square sine theta. R square sine theta will be Jacobian of this. Let me find out Jacobian with respect to all the three variables R, theta, and phi. R theta and phi. R theta and phi. So this is second. The last one is equal to. Okay. So let me see here. Just, I want just check the answer of the question. So well, I just can put the question. So what is the spherical polar coordinates? Okay, these are the spherical polar coordinates. Let me just find out these values. 
आर्क दिस इज जेड इक्वल टू आर्क कॉस थीटा दिस इज मैं फाइंड कर आर्क कॉस जेड इक्वल टू आर्क कॉस थीटा एक्स इक्वल टू आर्क साइन थीटा कॉस साइन ओके आर्क ओके एक्स इक्वल टू आर्क कॉस थीटा साइन साइन कॉस साइन एंड वाई इक्वल टू आर्क साइन थीटा साइन साइन ओके साइन थीटा साइन साइन एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू Okay, so now let me convert this into polar coordinates, polar z, z coordinates, and then z is r cos theta. Then what are the values of this? Therefore, we obtain here given having for x square plus y square plus y square plus x square plus y square plus z square plus z square. That is for the limits. Let me find out limits of these values. First is that what is the dx dy dz? See, this is z to be z to be r d theta d r. This is d r d theta d phi. Okay, so this z to be comes out to be r square into sine theta sine function. If you will just calculate after this whole. This R square sine theta into d R d theta d cos. In the value of d x d y z to be n. Sorry, z to be n. We are doing this. So we have converted d x d y to be d x d y d z into this polar coordinates. R square sine theta. This is value of z to be n. I just calculated this. D R d theta d phi. That is other values. Now let me find the limits of this. The limits are Theta is here. First is R R T because R is radius zero to four. R equal to zero to four minus of R. Theta is equal to zero to theta equal to zero to pi. Theta is zero to pi. Okay, and phi is zero to phi. Phi is zero to two pi. Minus of Phi is zero to phi. Okay, this is this in a sphere. We have discussed this in detail. So we see my sphere in three-dimensional geometry. It's very good how to find out the sphere of this. So three-dimensional geometry, we have taken the four. So it is zero to. In this case, this is radius r is zero to four. Zero to four initially. You see the volume. If I take a sphere, that sphere radius is zero to r. So zero to four is equal to r is zero to four, and theta is zero to pi in the okay in the second quadrant of it, and uh, phi is the whole sphere, the three dimensional sphere. Okay, this is zero to pi, the whole sphere. This is the value of r square sine theta. This I'll calculate, but later I'll calculate. So I can find out the answer. If I put the limits here, this whole will be equal to. This is 1.8 are taken outside. First limit is let me take r. R is 0 to 4. 0 to 4 here. Then theta r theta phi. Theta is 0 to phi. Then phi 0 to phi. This is r square. Let me r square. Sine sine theta. Into d r d d phi d r d theta d phi. This is the whole value we have converted into this particular polar coordinates. Okay, in Jacobian we can find out what is the value we have taken, and this r to sine theta will be Jacobian or this three dimension. Okay, this particular polar coordinates that we will take later, but it's good that we take the answer here. No problem. And the answer is now let me integrate this with respect to phi. It means phi only, so two pi will come out. If phi, if I integrate, then no phi here, only phi. So two pi will come to zero at zero to zero. So one point eight zero to four. That means it's zero to phi here. And here it is only r square is constant for phi. R square sine theta is constant. This is phi we have taken, and phi this d t d phi will be phi. In place of phi, we have to put d phi. This is d phi here. 
this is integrated and putting the limits of the cycle. Then D R D theta is less than theta. Now let me integrate this with theta. So sine theta will be integrated. Now let me write here. So we have taken this. Then pi we have substituted in it. This is two pi. Let me take outside. This is pi upon four. Cos is two and this eight. Then five. Four by four. So pi upon four. We go to four here. Now this theta sine theta is into the minus cos theta. This r square into minus cos theta. This is integrated. We go to pi is the limit. Then we are. Okay, R square that is constant, and this sine theta is the is the integrator is minus cos theta. This is the zero pi up to the limit. Finally, then we get zero to four pi by four, zero to four here. That is R. This for R, we miss R. This is R square. Now what about this? At pi, it is minus one. Minus one plus cos pi is. Cos pi is minus one. So this is minus one here. That is plus one. Minus one between the three points minus one is here. Plus one. Cos zero is one. This is one plus one. Two. This is zero. Two. This is pi upon two. Okay. So what we reach up to? This is two pi upon four. Zero to four. Is R K on this? This is B. Let me take the R Q on three. Integration is by upon two R by upon two. This is R Q upon three. Zero to four minutes. This is equal to by upon two R. Now try this. R four. Let me sixty four upon three. And this is 64 so well, that R if I put at 4 it will be 64.3 2 so this is 1 this is 32 pi upon 3 in the top 32 pi upon 3 is the answer this is the question we have the answer is 32 pi upon 3 that we have completed okay, the whole Now, so far as Jacobian was considered, it was R square sine theta that we can calculate easily if we have taken those uh, polar spherical polar coordinates. From there, Jacobian can be calculated, which was equal to R sine theta. Okay, if I do that, it may be calculated. That's not a problem. Okay, but that is clear. Jacobian there was. That we can ask. Ask your son, she does that. We can do this in full order. Then we can do. So she has to do the next one. R sine theta cos phi equals and y bar R sine theta sine phi equals j equals to plus R cos theta. Do the Jacobian of this. Let me let me do this Jacobian. Answer is already calculated. Let me find out that when you consider that when I put the shorter value there, that when this will be. But we have to integrate this with respect to r and theta with pi. Okay, so this with respect to r will be r is one here sine theta cos pi will be sine theta cos pi. Then. Okay, with respect to theta, this differential is so cos theta. It will be r cos theta cos phi. Okay, so take an integer. Then with respect to uh, phi, it will be cos phi that will be minus r sine theta into sine phi. These are the values. Then multiplication and this. Only for two R cos. In this way, this is the respect to R theta phi. Okay. Only then we can do, we can okay. This is dx by dr, dx by 
theta dx by d phi. This is how d by dr, d by d theta, d by d phi. Then similarly, d j dr, d j d theta, d j d phi. In this way, we have to control these values, we triple this and multiply the whole arms of the of this mass r square sign. The whole Jacobian will come out there. This is the process of this. Now, I have finished this whole. This whole x have been taken to the end. If it's 35 upon 3, is the answer of this question. 35 upon 3 is the answer of this question. It was 35 upon 3 and 35. Okay, so this is how the process of changing the variable is there in case of multiple integers or double integers or triple integers, okay, or volume integers. So this is the process of changing the variables that are discussed today. Next, we will discuss about how to find the volume, mass as well. Okay, so volume and mass, how to find out area, volume, mass, etc. That will be the next topic we we'll discuss in multiple integers. This will be a take multiple integers. This is a very important topic for mostly the science students or engineering students. Please pay attention to what this. And the, all these questions are taken from student choice. And I always say that my students must satisfy okay, only them unsatisfied. So this is only for the student benefit. Please check my other little lectures also. From there you can get complete knowledge. This is how we have done this exercise for changing the values. This is changing change of variables by transformation technique by Jacobian transformation. Jacobian transformation that was when we changing the variables from uh, coordinate from uh, Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates or from Cartesian coordinates to other coordinates are in the plane. In the plane, x by plane, in the plane. This is the process how we integrate by changing the variables. Changing the variables gives us the simplicity of the integrals. Because initially the integrals are very difficult to integrate. Then as I already defined in the beginning, that why we use chain of variables when integrals given are not easily integrated. They are not integrated easily. Then we convert them into we change the variables finally and after that we will easily integrate. So now just to simplify the integrals. Okay, that will be multiple integrals are now over. Okay, I mean just copy it over here. No, I'll take the volumes, etc. How to find out mass and volume. That is the next topic. Okay, then see you in the next lecture. See you in the next lecture.